Greetings from a beautiful fall day here in Alabama. Uh, back in Utah, we showed you two techniques for doing whole house power monitoring. Today, we're going to show you a third. It's a little more expensive, but a lot more accurate. Previous techniques involved reading the data from your power meter. Uh, the first one, uh, most power meters have these little LEDs on them, and the first technique just strapped the sensor on there and read how often that sensor blinked. Second technique used the radio frequency data that the power meters typically send these days to the power trucks when they run around every month to collect their power readings. Uh, that was an inexpensive approach, $20 for a USB stick, um, but it didn't update the data that frequently. This technique gives instantaneous reading of the power your house is using. It uses uh, something called a current clamp, which is a ferromagnetic cord that just clamps around a wire and there's a Faraday law out there that says that the voltage generated across that clamp will be proportional to the current going through the wire it's clamped around. So there's been companies that have done these current clamps out for quite a while. The oldest one is called TED, the, te the Energy Detective. There's a couple newer ones that uh, are a little more attractive. One's called Smappy. The one I used is from a Canadian company called um, Nurio. So, let me show you that now. So this is the primary breaker box. It's monstrous. Do you remember the last month's video I showed you? This used to be a pipe organ house. You can see that they had a separate breaker here just for the organ. A couple more for the heat pumps and then a standalone breaker for the data, that go, the power that goes to the main panel. So the advantage to this is I got tons of room in this first box. But the disadvantage is these cables that come in are monstrous. They're like one inch thick cables, 24 millimeters, which is just a little bit too wide for the standard size current clamps that come with these monitors. And they can do about 18, maybe 20 millimeters. So we got around that problem with the help of the folks at Nurio by ordering a few more clamps. Normally you just need two. Um, these power panels, uh, in the US anyway, they come with uh, two phases, a power and then a ground, and you just need to monitor the main two phases. In my case though, since I couldn't clamp onto those two, I had to clamp onto the sub uh, wires that come off of here. So I got three sets of clamps, and they're all just daisy chained together via uh, these simple Y connectors into the Nereo box back here in the corner. It's just a uh, uh, it's got a little, little processor that monitors the voltage off of these current clamps and then sends the data uh, very at a, a high rate via a Wi-Fi to um, the, um, your router box, which then you can monitor via web apps and smartphone apps. Um, so that's where the fun is. So let me show you that next. I set up a demo out here on the deck to show how this Nurio app works. It involves this pine cone, this dragon, and this tablet. Actually, the pine cone has nothing to do with it, but the dragon and the tablet are going to show the effects of this halogen light. So we're going to measure the power of this halogen light. First with the kilowatt meter, uh, it's showing 422 watts. And then with this multimeter with a current clamp option. It works just like the current clamp transformers in the garage work. They clamp around uh, your power. This orange thing just separates a standard 120 volt power line into two halves so we can clamp around half of it. It shows we're measuring 3.73 amps. Let's go figure out how much power that is. We'll ask Alexa. She lives up here. Alexa, what is 3.73 times 120? 3.73 multiplied by 120 is 447.6. Okay, 447 watts. Let's see what Nurio says. So when I unplug this, we're going to see this current. We're at 980 watts. We unplug it. You can see that drop to 530. And Nurio actually gives us this handy little data point here we can tap on. And it shows, well, look at that, 450 watts. So two out of three guys agree. I guess kilowatt guy loses. He's a little optimistic. 20. Um, so the real power of the Nurio is that it can measure the power in your house instantaneously, many times per second. 
so that allows you to do a high frequency power line analysis which allows you then to detect when specific things are turning on or off like the power profile at a high frequency of a refrigerator is very distinctive versus say a microwave or an oven or a light so uh, the guys at Nario and other companies like Plotwatt uh, are working towards being able to do that analysis and allow home automation enthusiasts this clever trick of being able to detect when arbitrary devices in your house go on and off uh, just by looking at the energy profile of that device. Uh, now currently I don't think it works very well. Kind of in the early stages of that still. Uh, Nurio advertises they can effectively do it for devices over 400 watts. But for devices less than that they're not that reliable. Now I don't have that option. I bought the $180 version of the Nurio, which doesn't do the appliance detection. But I think for a $70 upgrade, they'll let you do that. So I'll probably try that out. And if it works, well, I'll let you know. Um, but for now, let's see, there's one other thing I can show you is the web app. So this is the Nurio homepage. It shows you how much power you've used for the week and it gives you instantaneous power usage. So for example, we're at 420 watts right now. If I were to go turn on these track lights here, which are replaced with all LEDs except for that bad boy halogen I can't get to, you can see we bump it up to about, by about 100 watts. So instantaneous uh, power reading is real easy. In addition, they'll give you a um, history of your power um, here by hour, um, and that, that was the uh, energy used. Here's the power usage, which is nice. You can flip between days and weeks quickly, but you cannot zoom in. Uh, you can hover and get exact numbers, you can see here, but you can't zoom in on this data to get more accurate timeline. So to get around that problem, instead of going to this cloud data, I go to the IP address for the Nurio box and here we can get instantaneous measurements as frequently as we want. Uh, you can see the number changes every time I hit the refresh. And this gives a breakdown of the power by phase. So I just take these two numbers here for the two phases and add them up for the whole house power. Then I have a little Mr. House app that collects that every few seconds and then sends it up once a minute, that chunk of data, to a different uh, cloud facility called Plotwatt and these guys have a little nicer plots in that they do the same thing they give you power for a week or a month or a day but in addition you can zoom in and get a more detailed analysis of what that power data look like and um, that was and so for example you can see the refrigerator kicking in right here it's about 200 watts um, power uses. That was very useful when I had to, when I wanted to, uh, detect an anomaly I could see happening every 15 minutes. Uh, uh, 200 watts would just magically appear out of nowhere for about four or five minutes and then go off to the next 15 minutes. I never did figure out what that is, uh, but I found the circuit breaker it was on and I just turned that circuit breaker off and to no ill effects. I suspect it's a um, Somewhere they wrapped a heat tape around some pipe they were afraid might freeze, which is down here in Alabama, seems unlikely, so I just left it off. Um, but it, it, this instantaneous or accurate power reading option was uh, really useful to find those um, phantom or mystery power uh, hogs, and uh, I, I think it's well worth the effort. I guess that's it, I think so, for this month, so see you next month.